Em xin chào thầy cô và các bạn thân mến Em tên là Trần Trúc Lâm Học lớp 3.1 trường West Spring Sài Gòn Hôm nay em sẽ kể một câu chuyện ngắn Ngôi nhà nhỏ trong bão rông Little House in the Storm Của tác giả Dương Hồng Anh Trung Quốc Nhà xuất bản văn học Câu chuyện kể về sự yêu thương chia sẻ Mọi người hãy cùng lắng nghe nhé A banana tree stood near a pond In the banana tree lived a newborn baby bird and his mom The mother bird built their home by sewing the each of two small banana leaves together From a distance, their little house looked like a green oval-shaped fruit hanging on the tree One day, the mother went out to look for food and left the baby bird alone at home. It was getting very warm and humid. The baby bird pocketed his head out to get some fresh air. He saw black clouds gathering in the sky and two big geese swimming azures. The thunder started to rumble and roar and the wind blew through the tree. The little greenhouse began swaying amongst the rusting leaves. Splat! 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 Big raindrop drooms against the banana leaf. The baby bird was scared and he started to cry. Wow! 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 Mr. and Mr. Ghost was on their way home. They stopped and they hear the cry. Listen, it sounds like a baby bird is crying, said Mr. Ghost. Baby bird, where are you? Mr. Ghost flew his wing and asked aloud. Wow, 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 wow. The cry grew even louder. Mr. Ghost looked around by sticking her neck out and finally spot the little greenhouse. Look, the baby birds must be there. They both wore this talk with the banana tree. Oh no, the little house is about to fall off. Mr. Ghost saw a huge crack on the leaf stack which the little house was hanging from. Mr. Goat stamped her feet and noticed the ground was very hard. We must think of the way to help the baby bird. He'd be in trouble if he fall, she said worriedly. It rained more heavily and the wind blew viciously. The crack on leaf back became larger and the little house weighed more violently in the wind. It was on the verge of dropping off the tree. Against the sound of the storm, the whipping of the baby bird sound will and fragile. Mr. Scold lay down with his belly facing upward and spread his wing. Quickly, do what I'm doing. We need to save the baby bird. Mr. Ghost nodded agreement. She laid down and spread her wings as well. Come on, baby bird, jump! Persuade the both of them. The baby bird stopped crying once he heard the voice and saw the big white blanket that was spread on the ground. He was not scared anymore because the big blanket looked very soft and warm, reminding him of his mother arm. The leaf stack snapped when he was about to jump. The little house fell right into Mr. Gold's wing. The rain kept pouring and the wind kept rushing through. Mr. Ghost used his left wing and Miss Ghost used her right wing to protect the baby bird from the rain and the wind. From the distance, their bodies appeared to form the little white house in the storm. 
Câu chuyện đến đây là kết thúc. Em xin cảm ơn sự lắng nghe của mọi người.